Are you stuck trying to get your first or even your next 10,000 followers on Instagram? Well, guess what? I grew 10,000 followers on Instagram just over two months completely from scratch. Now, I want to tell you the five-step formula that I use to do that. But just a quick word of warning. If you're not prepared to work hard, to spend potentially hours a day working on yourself and your page, then this video isn't going to be for you. But if you are prepared to do that, to put in the work now so that in the future you can reap the benefits of that work, then keep watching and let's get straight into the video. Welcome to my channel, the place to learn how to build your income, your influence and the community through social media. Now I want to get straight into it for you guys and let's get down to point one, which is research and direction. Now the worst thing you can do on Instagram, particularly if you're a new page or looking for a new direction, is to just wing it, you know? You need to have a strategy, you need to have an idea of what you're getting yourself into. But I took time before I even started to research my competition, to research who was out there already. Now what I mean by research is find the top 20 influencers within your niche. Who is it that's killing it at the moment in your niche? Go to their page, save their top performing posts. Now let's say for example, that on average, they're getting a thousand likes on their posts. Look for the posts that have 2000 likes. Look for their posts that have gone viral. These are posts, these are content ideas that you know there is demand for because nothing's worse than starting off your journey on Instagram or posting content that just no one really cares about. So look at what's working before and use that as a way to guide you and to give you content ideas that you can use to your best ability and make them personal to you. Okay, so what about direction? Well, quite simply by direction, I mean, well, what's your niche first and foremost? Pick your niche and stick to it. You need to find something that you really do love, that you really enjoy. Enjoy it. Because if you're looking at this as a long-term investment, you know, being on Instagram for years to come, you have to actually enjoy what you're talking about. Now, I'm not saying this has to be set in stone because like myself, like many other people, your niche transforms over time as you do. But you need to have direction in place at the start. It's like building a house. You, you need a blueprint. You need to have foundations in place before you can build that house. It's exactly the same with you. Pick your niche, pick your direction and stick to it. But what's also important is to pick a type of content what format of content are you comfortable making? Maybe you're great at graphic design, so do carousels. Maybe you're great at photography, so do single images. Or maybe you're great at recording videos, so do video content and reels. You have to pick what you're comfortable with to start, because quite simply, if you don't, you're gonna to struggle to get what's up there onto the screen. And if you struggle to get your ideas onto your actual social media and onto your content, you're gonna to struggle to have the impact you want. So do what's comfortable to start with, and once you build up that confidence, once you build a following, then you can try and test yourself with new ideas, Ideas, different types of format but do what comes natural at first and believe me that's gonna go a long way to making the whole process much easier point two is systems and processes now systems and processes what do I mean well you need to find out when's the best time for you to create content when's the best time for you to engage on, on your platform or when's the best time for you to actually research ideas this is gonna be different for everyone but I'll give you a quick idea on, on how I've done it I used to pick one day a week where I would do everything I would batch everything into one day it used to be a Saturday for me. I'd create all my content, I'd do all my research, all my copywriting, and I'd get it all done on that day. Benefit this has is that when you batch your content, whether it's on one day or across multiple days, is it gives you space, it gives you time. It gives you time to engage on your Instagram. It gives you time to DM people and it gives you time to get feedback and to listen to the community, which ultimately helps you to improve your content in the long run. You don't want to be in a position where you're creating content every day. That is the worst position to be in, okay? Believe me, the best thing you can do is set up a schedule, whether it's a multi-day schedule or whether it's just one day. Find what works for you, but pick it and stick to it. That's going to make the difference when it comes to being comfortable, creating content, and having the impact you want. And one other thing, start building templates for yourself. These are by far the best thing I ever done for myself is building templates that I can create content with. This took my content creation time down from one hour per carousel all the way down to 20 minutes per carousel. That's absolutely game changing. It's something you have to do. So build your own templates, build your own systems and processes, and that's gonna help you massively. Point three experimenting. Now a key factor in growing your Instagram is doing what works already. But the thing is, you also want to build influence. And to do that, you need to be unique. But how do you know that what you do unique is what people want? Well, you have to experiment and try different things. I used to use the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time, I'd create content that I know works. 20% of the time, I'd experiment and try something new. And over time, as you do this process, you start to filter out what works 
and what doesn't. And eventually, over a medium to long term, you know, one month to maybe two months, you'll start to understand the direction your page is heading in. Once you do this time and time again, you refine your process and you become much better. And after the long term, you become someone who knows exactly what you're about. You know what your followers want to see, you know what content works best. So experiment to start with and forget about the engagement, forget about the vanity metrics. Just try out new things and see what works and only look back on your metrics over a long period of time. So don't look at the day to day, don't look at it week by week, but month by month. When you can look at the long term metrics, but there's much more information, they're much more reliable and that will help you to just simply refine your page and help you understand what works best for you. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I'm posting new videos every single week on building your income, your influence and the community through social media. So you don't wanna miss it. Point number four, engagement now engagement is one of the core pillars of instagram if you don't engage it's very hard to grow you need three things you need content you need engagement and you need consistency and if one of those three things isn't there it just won't happen but now we're talking about engagement to give you a bit of perspective when i started my page i was doing five hours a day of engagement and it's quite excessive i'm not saying you have to do that but that's what i've done and i made a lot of mistakes but i also learned a lot so actually i think that for fast growth you could get away with doing maybe one or even two hours a day of engagement but this is what you're going to do. You're going to find those top 20 influencers in your niche and you're going to put on post notifications for them. As soon as they post a piece of content, you're straight in there in the comments and you're giving a valuable comment in that comment section. What you're going to do through this is you're building exposure. You're using their platform to get eyes on you and your profile. Make sure you're very active in those comments. Don't just leave a comment and walk away. Leave a comment, but also reply to other people's comments. Create conversations. That's stage one. Stage two of the engagement is to find people people like you. Find people at a similar stage of their journey as you are. Maybe they've got the same amount of followers. Maybe they're in the same niche. Maybe they're local to you. Whatever it might be, but find people who are similar to you. And what you're going to do is you're going to reach out to these people every day and start building connections. Now I'm going to give you a target. 20 people per day you reach out to. So that's 20 influencers who you comment on their posts and 20 people who you reach out to and DM. But make sure when you're reaching out to people that you qualify them. That you make sure that there's someone who you find value in their content or so there's someone who you can actually see yourself talking to if you don't do this then when you talk to them it can just come across as being fake and then that's not really helpful you want everything you do to be authentic you want everything you do to be as real as possible if you don't want to talk to someone then don't talk to them it's going to do you more harm than good so pick 20 people every single day follow them that's a key point follow them comment on their posts engage with their posts and then send them a dm strike up a conversation with them don't just talk about instagram ask them about the world Ask them about the bloody coronavirus. Whatever you want to talk about, just don't focus on Instagram and build relationships that way. The best way engagement works is when you build a core community of people who are at the same level as you. And then you all support each other and you all grow together. Because really, there isn't really competition on Instagram. There's just other people trying to achieve the same thing as you. So find them, engage with them, and build a community that way. Point number five consistency. What I used to do was I used to post every day, I used to engage every day. That was my consistency. I made sure that over 90 days, I showed up without fail. Now for some people, you might not be able to commit to everyday posting, and that's okay. You're not gonna grow as fast, but that's okay. So you need to pick your consistency. Maybe you post once every two days, once every three days, whatever it is, but you have to stick to it because consistency, that is what gives you rewards. Consistency makes you better. Consistency helps you to master what you're doing and without it it's very hard to make improvements it's very hard to build a community it's very hard to get your content out there consistency is the one thing that most people can't do now understand something at the start of your journey or even after this video you're going to have a lot of motivation to be consistent and that's great but understand that motivation doesn't last forever so you need something else that's going to push you something that's going to wake you up and get you out of bed every morning and that's discipline and it's habits so discipline make sure you have a schedule make sure you stick to it make yourself accountable Tell your partner, tell your friends, tell your Instagram community you're gonna be doing this. Make yourself accountable. But also, what is your why? Why are you doing this in the first place? You know, I'm doing it because I want to live a happy life. I want to be fulfilled in the job I do. I want to help others. I want to I want to earn money. I want to support my family. So why are you doing it? When you understand your why, you don't need motivation because that is your motivation. And that gives you the discipline you need to be consistent. Without consistency, you will fail. Believe me. Do all of these five points consistently and I guarantee you can get to 10,000 followers. Bonus point, unique visual. 
Your unique visual is one of the defining factors as whether you grow or not on Instagram. If you're not unique, if you don't look unique, you're gonna fall under the wayside. You're gonna get lost in all of the noise, believe me. The way you look on Instagram really does matter. It doesn't mean you have to have the best graphics in the world. It doesn't mean you have to be amazing at photography or an amazing videographer. You just have to be different. Look on Instagram, you'll see how many people look the same. And you'll see that people that look the same tend to not perform very well. And the people who are the influencers in your niche, I can always guarantee no one else looks like them or no one else sounds like them and that's why they're doing so well because they're unique be different you have to be that's the only way to stand out that's the only way to make a name for yourself and to build the influence that you really want to grind to 10,000 followers on Instagram it isn't actually that hard and quite a lot of people actually do it but the main reason most people don't do it is just because they're not consistent and they also they're not unique so if you do all of these points in this video and do it consistently I promise you you will hit 10,000 followers and even more than that okay so belief in yourself you can do it you just have to be consistent okay guys so thanks for watching today i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and i'll see you in the next one